Okay, your your hill. We go down here. Do we? Do I have to do it on a chocobo? We go down. Oh my goodness, you're whoa! Oh, I could have just healed here. No, I couldn't have because that costs cushions and we don't do that around here. <laughs> We have the snap photo somewhere around here. Hmm. This is a wait, where does this go to? Looks kind of life springy. Yeah. Condor Cedar. Yeah. Farrah Cape Life Spring. Junon, the Fortress City. Having conquered the Republic of Junon, Shinra constructed a nigh impregnable fortress on the coast in the heart of their enemy's former territory. Powered by the world's only underwater Mako reactor and equipped with a colossal cannon capable of firing as far as Wutai, the stronghold resembles a vast battleship risen from the deep to defend the eastern continent. Junon is a city composed of multiple levels, each of which is lined with uniform buildings that were originally designed to serve the needs of military personnel. After the war with Wutai, some were converted into hotels and retail outlets, and the harbor and airport now see a constant stream of civilian visitors. Military exercises are still conducted frequently, however, and should the need arise, defense countermeasures can be deployed at a moment's notice, transforming the city into a fortress ready to repel would-be invaders. Impregnable Fortress. Is it really impregnable? Well, they think it is. I... Hmm. Wouldn't Junon have been impregnable before you guys invaded it too? Maybe they've made it even more impregnable. Okay, why... This is just one of those old ships. The snap location. Is behind us. It looks like for the photo snap, you're supposed to just use the screenshot button on the PS5 to take it, <laughs> which I think is a little bit silly. I never, I never press that button. <laughs> but okay, sure, why not? Okay, I just have to open photo mode. I don't actually have to take a photo. <laughs> I never want my party, okay? Like, this is. Ah, you need to zoom in more. This is not good enough. You need to- I don't want to see the railing. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay, um, I don't want to see the railing. Okay, here you go. Just a legit PS5 screenshot. <laughs> okay. We can switch our chocobo gear to what Kyrie gave us too. In a bit. Okay, so that's part of the... I wonder if there was more... Like, that was pretty much it though, right? Like, this area here. I wonder if we could have gone to it even further. I'm gonna forego it for now. Let's move on. Come on, little buddy. This whole place is tilted. Much like how I feel when the chocobo runs into the walls endlessly. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there even anything around here? There might not be. That's pretty much it. Okay, and then is there any reason for me to walk out of here? Or should I just, like, fast travel out of here? Go back here? Yeah, because it seems like to get out of here, we'd have to come back here. Okay, but what do we want to do now? We could try to go to the Condor Watching Society's request. Or the tower here. One of these things. Start walking from the bridge. 
Oh, this is scary. Why did you randomly just get stuck on nothing? Come on, man. Can we- can we go this way? Yeah, but not like how I thought. Okay. That's fine. Man, without this chocobo, we wouldn't be able to travel anywhere here at all. Surprisingly, such a mountainous place for a city that's supposed to be rooted in water. Wait, we can't even go over there. How do we get over there? Oh, there's a different path that leads outside, probably. Back from town? Okay, well in that case, maybe we'll just go from town then. Oh yeah, here we go. We could go out here. It was beyond the weed people. Condor Hill. This is the hill. This is where we see the bird. Oh-ho! Care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. You don't know that. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. Can you tell me more about the condor? It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. Can you tell me about... how were you saved? Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirits soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. It's the one that we saw take the number person, right? That same one? Can you tell me about the feed? It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. I think we'll manage. I can't help but feel disappointed when I don't see it for a time, and a little worried. You'll find something tasty for it, won't you? I can't help but feel disapp- It probably knows how to take care of itself, we don't have to worry too much about it. The hunting spot is over here. Look, over there! The cow? Quietly approach it. I'm very quiet. No, 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 no. There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Do we need red for that? No. <laughs> we want the chocobo. Makes sense. Okay. 
I mean, it probably wouldn't have gone that far if you had gotten to move on and try to track it before it ran away for that long. <laughs> hey, little white chocobo, did you see the cow? Moogles, did you see the cow? Anybody see the cow? Oh, th there it is, isn't it? People want to fight the cow! Not on my watch. I don't have ice, still. Sloppy. Going in. The cow doesn't even know we're defending it so much right now. Bring it. Battle. But we're not defending you. Oh god. Wait, that's a different. That's not. Oh no! That is not a condor. Chocobo, come on! Bell! The chocobo could track him. Yes, yes, come on. Bell, come here. Do you not smell it? Are you are you standing right on top of it so you can't smell it? Here we go. Ooh, this is a uh, Oh. Wait, we sort of went the wrong way. This is the wrong way. Yeah, or maybe we can just I'm actually not sure. Can we just keep going down this way, do you think? We might be able to wrap back around. Or maybe I don't track the scent and I just go in a cave blind and hope that it's here. Maybe that'll work. Oh, okay. No, we sort of wrap back around to get the scent. Oh, okay, it's this way. Yeah, we were on the right track. We just didn't know exactly where we were supposed to go. Oh, no. Guess it's in here. Let's go. The wormhole. Don't like the sound of that. Are we all healed up? Sort of? No, don't eat the cow. <laughs> Mystic <laughs> dragon. <laughs> I got your number. An airborne lizard that lives in caves, and mutated after consuming creatures exposed to Mako from the underwater reactor. As a result, its flesh has begun to rot while this creature still lives and breathes. We need to inflict enough damage to pressure it, but once pressured, it'll fly high into the air. That's not good. Now. Counter fire! Oh god! Come on. Yeah, I was trying something new. Not sure it worked that well there. That's it. Storm's coming. Get it while it's pressured. Don't overdo it. You can do arrow too. Diva. So can you. Ah, uh, radiant ward. Radiant Ward is even better than Sorcerer Arcane Ward, right? That's my understanding. Aerith is invincible in here. She doesn't have wind. She still doesn't have wind. <gasps> okay. You can do it. My turn. You're mine. Which one is the best? I guess it's Braver. That's the best in this situation. Keep it up. Let's finish. Okay. One yeah. 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 That's it. 
Give him hell, okay? Okay, you ready? Leave it to me. Finish it. Time to end this. <laughs> Watch yourself. So it's my turn? We can do a... I don't even know. More? Why don't you lead the Hang watch back. out for high winds? Synergy abilities. Synchro Cyclone. Spinning attack. They're not staggered right now. Tifa. I'm in. This one's for you. Nice. And that's a lot of ATB just sitting here, too. <laughs> Tifa, I guess her best one would be reverse. Oh, reverse gale here, because it's when there's a win affinity on it. I got this. Do. Tumble talent, it says. Here it comes. Let's finish this. Let's go. Any last words? This one's for you. All that for a cow. What do we do now? Oh. Bovine meat, monster flesh, or peculiar greens. Uh, well, I, I thought we were doing bovine meat the whole time because that's what the condor liked. Hunks of bovine meat. We just chopped it up. Peculiar greens. I'm kind of interested in this too. It's like a cactus thing. Okay. Now what? Now what we bring it back over here? Okie dokie. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. And it'll just come? This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Does it always? Though at least with the steel sky, you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kind of get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight. I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, up. Wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Beat. Yes, sir. Come on. Gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> it stays Say here. Cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? Take a proper photo, lady. So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Really? Let me see. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> Warding materia. Nice face, Cloud. I want to see that one again. Only Tifa's here. Where is everyone else? Oh, hey, Aerith. <laughs> hey, Parrot. Hey, Red. <gasps> Sorry you didn't get to be in the picture. Blew it again, just like I always do. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. You're supposed to be the photographer. You gotta be ready whenever. But that ends today. Next time, I'm gonna snap the perfect shot. 
I blew it again. We haven't had a sighting like that in who knows how long. And it's all thanks to you. You know, I ought to get a nice frame for that photograph. Yeah, sure. I've never had the privilege of seeing a condor up close like that before. <laughs> My heart is still pounding. Although, it's strange for the condor to come this far down. I'd hate to think fiends have been messing with its food supply. Poor bird's got enough problems. I'm just glad it still views us as not bait. That it's still willing to just take the cow and go. Because that really wasn't a given. Felt like it was a bit dangerous, but hey. At least it turned out well for us, I guess. Okay, crow's nest is actually quite big. Let's do a... Let's do a queen's blood. I know there's two here. Let's do one and then maybe we'll check out... What else do we have? The frog? The frog master? Ribbit, ribbit. Something like that. We'll see. We're gonna reclaim these waters and make them Hello. I'm a rambling, gambling fella. If you want to hear my tale, I'll tell ya. You with an agency? Here to sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. <laughs> so you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm going to be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Want to play against a future celebrity? Sure, can I have your autograph just in case? I will rise and rank after this one. Is my deck gonna be okay? It'll have to be. I get a flame trooper for this. I'm good for now. Interesting. Put a cactuar right here. No, I see. I see, I see. Put a moogle right here. Hey, that guy. How come their. Oh, their chocobo has a three because of the card, the other card they have. Dang you. So I'm gonna do like that. You have a cactuar too! So I just took the two spaces. Oh, we could do a really big gamble right here. Just put Shiva down. <laughs> now let, let's see, let's see what I can do. I have to take this spot because I, I need to get that one, right? Oh, this is a bit of a problem. I kind of screwed myself over, I think. I can't take this spot. Because I need I need to take this spot. Oh no, this is really bad. Yeah, now, because it stole the spot for me. I may be screwed. Or maybe I'm okay. Funny how that stuff works out. Oh, but now they're gonna take it back that spot. Yup, yup, yup. That's fine. I've seen worse. Crystalline crab? Ooh! They've got the first column, first row for sure. But I think I've got the second. They got a- f Oh, a six! It wasn't a- it wasn't- it's kind of close, actually. And then the last one here. I think we should be able to do just fine. Yeah, we got it. Situations change quickly, though, huh? Hmm. I tried my best on the top column, but we're good. We won anyway. I don't know why they count the numbers. The, ex the specific numbers, because what really matters is that you win the, the row, right? It doesn't even... Does the number matter? In case if there's a tie or something. Flame Trooper, when destroyed, lower the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. 
When destroyed, you can destroy cards? God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won! I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards. Oh my god, this... <laughs> Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. Oh. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Is he, like, right here? I have a number four I haven't beaten yet. Another number four. I'm not sure... I'm not sure when we'll come back again, so maybe I want to do it before we get going. But do we want to try the hard one first? Or the easy one? <laughs> I'm never going to get over hearing that conversation like this. Cameron? Are you just secretly... What? No, 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 not like this. <laughs> Probably... Up here. Down there? Oh, hey! Nice, nice. So, Mr. Cameron. Is no one here brave enough to challenge me? Do we have to do all the challengers to get the highest rank? <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision, the true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come. At some point, I probably have to... Oh, I have, to, I have to defeat him to get promoted again. I have to look at my deck composition again, but for now, uh, I'll see how this goes first. We need to start taking out the lower ranking cards. A few of them, so we can put in some more higher ranking ones. The board? The board of this thing is really weird. Like, there's a gigantic statue in the background. The castle. That doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> it, it doesn't really seem weird when we're here in, on the looking at the board like this, but when we're back in the real world, just look at it. The whole thing is just so unbalanced. Mm-hmm. Grenadier could be an interesting one. So I keep going for this strategy every single time. We get steady advancements, but it's not the best thing to do, I would say. Probably not. Because we're going to lose that spot when they put down the red in the middle. Yeah. That's just how it goes, every dang time. Let's see here. I'm not advancing forward. At oh, I probably should have put the Chocobo in Moogle. Shoot. That was really stupid, actually. I, mm, I was thinking about this spot, but... It's a bit of chicken, a game of chicken, because we don't want to advance so much that they end up getting the spot back. A Grenadier? Go for something a little bit. The middle lane, I can consider it lost. How about that? And then whenever you put down a card over there, we'll see what happens. You killed your own card! Oh my god, that's scary. What is that even? Kind of curious. Kepper wire. Oh, if you lower the power to zero, or below zero, then it just dies. I see. Yeah, that's a bad one here. This will be a good one here. Not gonna help me win, though. It won't help me win. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I've, I've lost this round. 
Hmm. I can probably guarantee a win on the bottom if I do it here. Thinking, though. I've lost too many positions. Yeah, it's this is too... Too conservative. I can put down a Shiva. Try to get the most of what I can, but that's pretty much it. Well, look at me positionally. This is really bad. I've lost. Okay, I switched on my cards a little bit here. Hmm. I really need to advance a little bit. Grenadier. I have to do a queen. Okay, this is not the greatest start. <laughs> Do a Quetzalcoatl. Oh! That Chocobo and Moogle might be a good one. Here? Could do better, though. Oh! The Cactuar in that spot's really stupid, because I can't make use of the, the plus... Uh, the Cactuar is best played on the first row. Okay. I can take that spot. It'll destroy whatever's in front of it, right? If you try to... Oh, okay, okay, hold on. It's my spot now, you can't... you can't take it back. I can do two in front of me like that. They're probably gonna take the top spot, though. Or should I do a Chocobo and Moogle? This one has some effects, doesn't it? Raise power by one for each other enhanced ally card. Should I do this? Yes! Yes! They're still gonna take some of it back, but... This is... Ooh. Fat Chocobo. Interesting, interesting. Man, I don't really have much of a strategy here, so I'm kind of at a bit of a loss. But I can do... Looking at the numbers... Am I looking at the numbers at all? Oh, shoot! They just took a whole bunch of spots back. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, okay, this might be... something. The middle row I have for sure. The top row I've lost. It has... oh dear, okay. The top row I've lost, but can I... can I make it happen on the bottom row? I might be able to. Okay, that fat chocobo I can save till later. No. No. I can't get it back, right? That one spot there. Yeah, unfortunately. That's okay, I was gonna lose that whole row anyway. Well, I'm scared of them turning it around. They might be able to. <laughs> okay, I think we got it, but... Um, let's see, it's gotta be a three here. That's all I can do. Definitely starting to get a little bit harder now. You can put a 12 there if you want. Oh no! Okay, oh thank you goodness. They lowered my thing, but only by one. Whew. Oh, but 15! Ah! I, I still got more than you, I got 16. Oh, thank goodness! Ah, so in the end? Even if I win both rows, but my numbers were lower, could I have lost there? Probably, right? I probably missed that part of the rules. But I got it, Midgard Summer. Whoa! This is wrong. This is all wrong. 
I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. In that voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. <laughs> what the hell is this? What have I done? I have to tell them. They all need to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. What the hell was that? You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's Blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed. This match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Wow, it looks like even Queen's Blood has some, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadow Realm thing going on here. <laughs> Alright, you know what? That's, that's totally fine. Looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I think we'll skip on that guy for now, though. Let's... Yeah, actually, the frog guy is our only quest remaining. Actual quest. I think what I'm gonna do is probably... Mm, well, I'm, I'm looking at the, the stuff in the bottom there. Combat assignment. Yeah, we still haven't been to this region yet and all that. Why don't we try to do some of those and then we'll get back to Queen's Blood and the Frog Guy and then hopefully that'll be pretty much about it. Looks like I'm coming across this tower first before the intel thing. Sure, that's fine. Ow, you are wind, right? Yeah, I remember. I got this. <gasps> Soaring hey, Fleury. Thanks. That kind of pushes Tifa so that I'll she can go can go do. up in the sky a little bit more, but in general, I don't know. Why don't you lead the way for high wind? Oh, death from above. Pay attention. Oh, we, we pressured one of them. The other one. The other one's getting pressured. Maybe we should focus on it. Ah! Okay, I can't do two at the same time, alright? You gotta pick one. Too many. Too many all at once. Whoa! Surprisingly, it's a little bit hard to dodge that attack. <sighs> there you go. This is, dude's dead already. So we'll just... Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead! He's not dead! Go, Gareth! Now he's dead. No, I think that was... The town of dudes are nothing to laugh at. We gotta be careful about them. They get a few level ups, but now I'm wondering if I even have enough HP to be doing the fiend intel thing. I guess we'll see. Thank you. That means you're actually gonna give me even more icons here. Is it possible to find a place without doing the tower to begin with? Another combat thingy. 
Okie dokie. Alright. If we want to go to... Actually, like, this whole area we haven't looked at. That's what I'm thinking about. Like, should I be looking at this place? Oh, you can see... You can see the bird! You see in the distance there? It's sitting on that hill. Dang. You just gonna be there from now on now? Is that how it goes? Ho! Oh. We don't have to fight, I'm just here to explore. Kind of. Yeah, let's be nice. I'm just... checking around. This is more runesy stuff, but from... the other side. Anything going on, though? Like, can we- can we go down that way, maybe? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it's just sort of this extra area here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Cool. Thank you for letting me see. Oh, there may be a little bit more if I go towards the bottom. If I can do that without pissing everybody and their mom off. Oh, this goes back to... Hey! Oh, I'm in no fighting shape right now. I really shouldn't be. <laughs> Nobody is in fighting shape right now. Don't overdo it. The Tifa is actually not so great at the whole aerial stuff. I don't think. Maybe it's time to switch parties again. Barret and Red. Aerith and Tifa. Seems to be how my party compositions go. Although I want- I, I want a few more composition... presets. I want Barret and Tifa. That's like our OG avalanche gang. Is there a little... little bird swinging, hanging around? Right, this is just the other side of the place, I guess. Oh! Okay. I was not aware we could go this way. Right, and then now we can go down... here? Buddy! Bell! What do we got here? Hey, how come they don't have to... These guys don't have to climb down the wall, they just sort of float down. That works. Treasures! I can see a treasure here already. Hey! Thanks. Sunken treasures or something. Well, there's supposed to be one more around here, but... How... How around here are we talking about? It's literally right here. Okay, that's nice. But I'm wondering if there's a way to go to that little peak. Maybe not. Or does it even matter? Well, let's get back to... Oh, there's another fiend intel here too, number four. I'll do this one and then I'll go back for the frog guy. Yeah, let me, let me, let me figure out how to get over there. Zemze breaks. I smell <gasps> fiends. Rare Zemzelet variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Zemzalets are known as the sages of the skies, not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable feathers that make them both elegant and lethal. These feathers have been prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Arrows fashioned from them are particularly valuable. They're said to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing even solid stone. Oh, but take care not to be so entranced by their abilities that you lose focus. Prevent enemies from taking flight when using Soothing Breeze. We might have to... Yeah, stagger? Stagger we can do. Probably. Hey, how are we supposed to go down here? Oh, we have to go down with a Chocobo. We have to assess and see what... when it takes flight first. Okay. Too bad. 
Rare resembles a lit variant that hatched near a life spring, thus granting it arcane power. It can shroud itself in wind to heal its wounds or compress air into powerful bombs. Inflicting enough damage when it is casting Soothing Breeze will pressure it. The problem might be that there's two, but we only have to stop one, I'm hoping. Ice. Do we have ice? Cloud doesn't have ice. Whoa! What the hell? Yeah, I'll do it. Oh no. I don't think Red's gonna be helping us much today. <laughs> but do we do we wanna do it when You're up? Hmm. I got you. I believe in you. Okay, you need to do it. Can you just focus, Ross? Here it comes. No, no, it's sticking flight. It's sticking flight. Okay, we got one, but the other one is still. Oh, it says prevent enemies from taking flight. Okay, I don't have time to stop the other one. Seriously? Can you do something, Barrett? Are you back, Red? Yeah, we need to. Dude! Yeah, we already stopped. See? Prevent enemies from taking flight. They both did it at the same time. How is I supposed to stop that? That's kind of crazy. Okay, let me. I guess I'll just finish this fight and I'll, I'll think about it afterwards. Probably at the minimum, we need everyone to have ice materia. Something like that. I see you haven't completed your objectives for that battle. Well, you're always welcome to make another attempt. Probably. I mean, red. <laughs> Most excellent work, Cloud. Did that battle prove a fitting test of your prowess? <laughs> your dissatisfied expression says it all. Oh, yes! I noticed that as well. You aren't equipped with that functionality. <laughs> anyway, with the data from your latest bout, I created a new virtual combat trial. It will prove a real test. I'm tempted to do all of that off-screen, to be honest, because, like, I, I get the impression it's gonna be the same stuff we've seen before. But... Hey, girls. Thanks for helping out. Thanks for helping out, Red. Where did you even go? You were like... I don't even know what you were doing. I think Barrett and Aerith here. I need more combinations. These party compositions aren't enough. We need more. I can keep saying that, but it's not gonna give me any more. <laughs> Wait, so you're just showing me the party here, but you can't... I can't adjust my party in the party tab. Really? Really? I do it in the combat settings, for some reason. Let's do... Wait, 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 wait. Edit party. Yes. Second part. <laughs> Barrett and... Aerith. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's a little bit not too intuitive. The party tab doesn't let you change the party composition. Just know I'm cheering for you. Deal with that. I'll take care of them. Okay. <laughs> Casting arcane ward immediately for error. Try using it. You've got this. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna save up my ATB. Hang back. It's on you. Here goes. Okay, soothing breeze. Barret. Ice it. Cloud. You don't have ice, but you can focus thrust. Probably. Victory is all but guaranteed. Okay, fantastic. We we stopped it. Yeah, we have to save our ATB for when they use that one spell, I think. I cast the Arcane Ward here. Okay, but we have to worry about that guy doing stuff too. You gonna be okay, Error? Okay, see, this is a problem. This is a problem. We have to stop it from doing stuff. While worrying about all these different things at the same time. Okay, we stopped it. We stopped. We stopped it on this end. That guy is still staggered, I think. Uh, maybe let's focus on this dude then. Brace yourself. This one's for you. I know you can do this. Okay, not too bad. Once we we are more deliberate about how we do things. 
Can you guys dagger it while I'm doing this? Fantastic. You're mine. Get ready. Don't stop now. I'll take care of this. Aerith. You can do it. Need my help. Whoa, not again, not again. Wow. What a fight. Not again. It's on now. Battle objectives completed. I knew you had it in you. Way to go. Yeah, for those special kinds of objectives, I think the key is we have to go in with intention. Without intention, it's hard to accidentally pull it off. Because they are sometimes quite specific. <laughs>